everyone. Adam Davies here from Kingston Volkswagen. And uh, today we have the great pleasure of finally showing you the next generation golf wagon. Uh, it's actually called the Golf Sport Wagon that's sitting here uh, in our showroom here at the dealership. Uh, forgive us for a little bit of ambient noise. We are inside. It's a little bit of an equity room, but this is a first opportunity to see the car. Uh, this one here is actually all the way from Germany. This is European spec, so there'll be a couple of things that are different from the car that we will actually get, but there's a ton of similarity. And this gives you an opportunity to see firsthand before the launch of this vehicle a little bit later on in the spring. Uh, so we're just going to take you on a short tour so you can get a, a feel of the car overall. I uh, pointed out a few details and facts, and, uh, and from there, then of course, you'll have the opportunity to drive the car in the spring or purchase yours beforehand and still drive in the spring, but be one of the first ones in Kingston to enjoy it. Uh, as we go from the front to the back, we'll just point out a few of the styling cues. First of all, you've probably seen it on the 7th generation Golf already, but you can see our Bi-Xenon headlight with LED daytime running light apparatus here equipped on this car. Uh, when you do uh, proceed with these headlights, it does come with the adaptive front lighting system. But a fantastic look for this vehicle, of course, improved visibility and safety with this lighting package as well. But it does give you that signature Volkswagen look on the uh, Golf Sport Wagon. This is built on the MQB modular architecture platform, so incredible weight savings, over 200 pounds on the car overall, so much improved fuel economy, regardless if you're looking at gas or diesel. Uh, and as you can see as well, the car is sculpted a little bit um, more muscular than before. You can see the tornado line and dynamic lines are a little bit more clearly accented. You can see the sculpting even up over top, close to uh, where the door frames are on the car. There's a, a lot of visual cues that really Sort of speak to the modern nature of this particular vehicle. Uh, what is the yellow wheels? We won't unfortunately get these rims, uh, at least not right away, but uh, fabulous look on the car. Now, if you want to come around to the back, I just want to show you a little bit from the rear. So, a couple of the cues again that you'll see from the, from the Golf hatchback uh, is when the hatch does flip open with the emblem. And as we open up, still a huge, huge trunk space. Uh, the trunk space in this one is the same trunk space as we did experience with the last generation Passat wagon with the seats up. So we're actually growing the car overall, both width and length, and we're going to improve our carrying space in the vehicle. A small um, sort of technical improvement or uh, convenience improvement, you can see the seat releases all the way at the back of the vehicle uh, are here as opposed to having to go in through the passenger door. So you can actually release the rear seats with just a pull, which is very, very convenient. And of course, just like previously, uh, this component does come out if you want to improve your storage. All right, just pull this down and show you a little bit more of the inside. Color on this one we will get. This is the silk blue exterior. And the interior is the Shetland leather. This would be, uh, for our market, a Highline model. So you can see the high quality leather and definition in the seats, high degree of comfort. I'm just going to pop this up so we can see a little bit more. In the back, you've got excuse me, an armrest here that allows you to uh, put a couple of cups in there and looks like graduated sizing. Not sure if we'll get that exact spec for our cup holders, uh, but it sure would be nice. And I'm just going to sit inside. The previous person who was driving this car uh, was about six foot two and you can see for somebody who's six foot two who would have been sitting in front of me I've got quite a bit of knee room and I'm five foot eleven so this car's length uh, a little bit longer overall we're going to experience a little bit more rear passenger comfort for so for those of you who've got kids and are looking at an alternative to a van or for those of you who have you know bigger storage needs or you end up being the people who, uh, who drive all of your friends from the restaurant at nighttime. This is going to be a great car to accommodate all of those different needs um, over and above the, the previous generation wagon. I'm going to pop myself out here and have a look at the front seat. You can see on the side for those vehicles that are so equipped, this is the keyless entry push button start uh, access. So it will be touch on the inside to release and touch on the outside to, to lock the vehicle just like the current uh, seventh generation Golf. Again, being a Highline model, we've got a 12-way adjustable power seat. And I'm just going to pop myself in here as shown around. Again, very, very high quality interior with Volkswagen and certainly the seventh generation Golf has received a ton of reviews to that effect. Uh, but you can see the quality of the materials, leather wrap steering wheel, uh, very high quality leather for the seats, soft touch dashboard, uh, high quality inlays with the chrome accenting. So fabulous looking in terms of equipment. 
Uh, you'll notice here on the instrument cluster that there's a, there's a couple of features that we won't have in, in our market yet, so just keep in mind, but the overall layout of the steering wheel is going to be the same. Uh, navigation screen is in the middle. That's a little larger than what we've seen in our Golf, so again, not quite yet in our market. Uh, this is a European spec car, but we will, of course, have a standard touchscreen radio in every single Golf wagon that comes along with a standardly equipped backup camera. So for those of you who are concerned about parking, uh, this is going to alleviate any of those concerns you might have. You'll notice on the inside the badging for Dyn Audio. The audio system that we'll get for our market is going to be the Fender tuned audio. Uh, 400 watt, 8 speaker with subwoofer um, sound improvement. Fabulous sound system, great accolades. So if you're looking for a premium audio experience, you're going to get it certainly with the Golf Wagon. But as you can see, very nicely bolstered seats, incredible degree of comfort in these vehicles. And we're still in a car, which is nice for some of you who like to have a, a bigger uh, you know, storage space, but you don't want to drive a, an SUV. This vehicle is going to offer you that, uh, that ability. I'm just going to pop out again here. The uh, vehicle is going to come at launch with either the 2-liter 4-cylinder TDI diesel engine, 150 horsepower with 236 pound-feet of torque. Or we're also going to offer the award-winning 1.8-liter turbo, 170 horsepower, and 184 pound-feet of torque. So those uh, two engines will be available right at launch with either a 5-speed manual or a 6-speed manual, depending on the engine, and a 6-speed automatic or a 6-speed DSG automatic, again, depending on the engine. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your next vehicle. For some of you who've been anticipating the launch of this wagon, uh, it's very close to being here for all intents and purposes. It's here now. So we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope that this answers a few of your questions about the vehicle. Of course, if you do have any further questions that this video didn't address and you're reading online, couldn't address either, uh, please just email us at sales at kingstonvw.com or call in directly 613-384-1000. Speak to any of the Volkswagen sales reps who are uh, at the dealership. That would be either Jenna or Paul or Murray uh, or Nathan, and uh, any one of them will be able to help you uh, answer some questions about this vehicle and perhaps even place your order so you get one of the first ones. Anyway, thanks again for listening and watching, and we hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, happy driving your Volkswagens out there.